Hello and welcome to another Spark AR tutorial video. In this one we'll be looking at the use of external textures and importing a video link. Now it's important to note that when we import this video link we will not have sound, uh, which is why we would have to then therefore link our sound and our video as separate patches. And we'll look at that in a future video. Uh, in the meantime, if you want to look at how audio has been imported into Spark AR, please look at the how to work with audio video on the channel. So first thing I want to do is I want to go over to our scene and click insert. And for today, I'm going to use the canvas and a rectangle. Uh, but normally, if we want our video or animated image or online connection to be shown on um, 3D plane, we could make it a child of our face, hand or plane, and then use a 3D object plane to apply the material to. For today, I'm just going to use the canvas, as I previously said, and I'm just going to insert the ca uh, default canvas here, which gives us this orange box. And then I'm going to right click on my canvas and insert a rectangle. Now this rectangle, I want it to be size-wise a rough 16 by 9 star resolution. I'm going to do about 192 by 108, so about 100th of a 19 by 20 by 1080 resolution. So just to keep that 16 by 9 proportions, but again, we can scale this as we see fit. And now with our rectangle created, we, could, we need to create ourselves a new material. So we can either do this by going to our assets and creating new material, or with our rectangle selected, we can click on the little plus icon next material and it'll create us this default material. Now if we select our default material, we can now go over to our shader properties and under texture on this little drop down arrow here, we have this option called new external texture. If we click on that, this will create a new external texture, texture this little checkerboard pattern. If I click on that, we have the option to paste a HTPPS URL. This has to be a secure URL, and this can be a video or image, as long as the uh, file format is stored within the title, so whether it's .png at the end or .mp4, for example. And the idea is this would be best suited on your own server, for example. So if I just paste this link I got earlier in, so you can see I've got this whole domain address here and it ends in the .mp4 format which is what our video was encoded in. If I just click enter to confirm that and it will now say please enter HTTPS for external texture which is what I've just done. So let's see what's wrong there. So here for example it says HTTP. If I just add an S for the purposes of this uh, video and then press enter again it should connect up and we should get this little video playing on our rectangle. Now bearing in mind this does rely on the device having internet access so you would want to have a pending texture for whilst it's loading or connecting to the internet and a failure texture which again would be shown up when no internet connection or video cannot be found by the server. So I'd recommend having these textures set as a still of your video to highlight what it would be that would be playing. So with this now in here, we've now got all the options we would typically have. So we can lock our sizes and we can adjust them to make our video bigger. If we hold shift and click, we can increase the increments by about five at a time. Like so. so what we have here is a video being fetched off the internet and playing. This would work as well if we used to use our phone and the Spark AR player. Now it's important to note that sound cannot be fetched from this using this method. So what we'd want to do is we'd want to actually have the sound file as a separate asset and then using the patch editor, try and synchronize the two together. We'll go through that in a future video. 
But for now, this is just to sort of show you how you can bring in external textures. This could be either, like I said, photographs or web video um, to your device without storing it on the device locally. Now, the reason I'm showing you video is because, like I may have said before, Spark AR cannot import video formats. So at the moment, if you want to play a video, your methodology is either this, create, uh, creating an external texture and having it linked to a server somewhere and playing it that way, which is again relying on the internet connection, or to import it as an image sequence and have it play more like an animation. Again, even if you both of these methods don't have sound, so I, again, I urge you to look at the pre, one of the previous videos, which is working with sound and how we can bring in sound uh, into our project. So I just wanted to show you this. So that's it for all this video. I hope this has been somewhat helpful. And I hope to see you again soon. Goodbye.